when the Cowboys play the Vikings on Sunday, they're going to beat them 23 to 20. It's going to be a close game. The Cowboys kicker, Mayer, is going to kick a field goal with about 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the Cowboys will just eke out a victory. Both defenses are really great, so I can see them slowing down both offenses. So the Vikings defense will slow down Zeke. Zeke may have about 90 yards rushing, but that's about it. I don't see him running for over 90 yards because they're going to key on him. What they will do is they'll put the ball in Dak Prescott's hands. So Dak, Prescott's, Dak Prescott is going to have to make plays here, and he will. He'll make key plays. He's done that in the past. He'll do it on Sunday. He'll do just enough to help the Cowboys eke out a victory. Now the Vikings, on the other hand, they're short-handed. Thielum is out. I believe he has a thigh injury or a quad injury. So he's out. So the Cowboys defense will key on Delvin Cook. They will not completely stop him. He'll probably have 90 yards rushing like Zeke. And they're going to really focus on Diggs. So I don't think Stephon Diggs is going to have a great receiving day. he probably have five catches for about 60 yards. I don't see him doing much more than that. If Thielen was there, maybe that would cause him to have a great big game because he'd get more single coverage. But with Thielen being out, the Cowboys can roll their coverage to Diggs and they could just neutralize him. So I don't see either offense going crazy. Both quarterbacks are going to have to make plays to help the team win. I just believe that Dak Prescott is better at leading his team to victory than Kirk Cousins. As we know, Kirk Cousins has struggled in primetime games. And this is a primetime game. They're playing on Sunday night. So he will not do too well. He may have about 207 yards passing against that Cowboys defense. But I don't see him doing too much. History just shows us that. Now, I'm not saying he's going to have a horrible game. He's not going to have like 100 yards passing with five interceptions. It won't be that kind of a stinker. But I don't see him making enough play to help a team win. I just think that Dak at this stage is more clutch than Kirk Cousins is. So that's what's going to happen. I just believe that Dak will make more plays than Kirk in the end. And he'll have the Cowboys. He'll put him in position to help the kicker kick that game-winning field goal. And the Cowboys will beat the Saints 23-20. The Cowboys definitely have to win this game because the Eagles are right on their heels for first place in the NFC East. And the Cowboys know they've got to beat teams like the Vikings. They have very little margin for error. They cannot lose too many more games. Because if they do, they're in jeopardy of missing the playoffs. They're definitely in jeopardy of losing their first place in the NFC East. And they don't want that. They have Super Bowl aspirations. And in order for them to achieve their goals of making it to the playoffs and beyond, they've got to beat teams like the Vikings. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So you should definitely subscribe. Do me one last favor as well. If you gained any value from this video, please press the like button. If you did that, I'd appreciate that as well. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.